gracious God and heavenly Father, coach your throne in the other time. Oh God, as you have called the Abraham, that you would be with him. We hold your presence this morning because we realize, oh God, we can do nothing without you. We ask you, oh God, that if you in the midst of us, oh God, and why we are sent up. Praises, O oh God, yes. oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, your word, that your word, O oh God, will seem to be in our hearts, O oh God, that when we do, O oh God, that you are proof, O Lord God, that you will come forward, O oh God, and charm the atmosphere in here this morning, O oh God, and bring about a change, O oh God, for everyone in here, O oh God, that will have a, a malady or have any discrepancy in their life, O oh God, or have anything, Lord God, that will be bothered to them, O oh God, any reflection, anything, Lord God, that will be my Lord God. I pray even this morning, Lord God, that you would minister, minister, Lord God, and I call in the name of Jesus, O oh God, you know only, O oh God, to well what we need. And so, oh God, we would come to you, Lord God, even this moment. For such a purpose, Lord God, to so that you will release us, oh God, and we need to praise in this morning, Lord God. Our blessing will come down upon us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord God, this morning. Have your way, Lord God, this morning. Have your way this morning. service. Lord, we say thank you, Lord, for coming in and being among us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your holy presence here today. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord.
God, I reach out to you this morning, God. I ask you to touch me this morning, God. Father God, just strengthen me this morning, Father God. Father God, cover me right now under your blood this morning, God. Father God, I ask you to remove all that image this morning of me this morning, God. And just use me as your best of this morning and come forward, God. The neighborhood, dear God, and the district of Bridgefield here in St. Thomas, dear God, and the surrounding area this morning, God. Father God, I ask you to go in every block, every corner this morning, God, with the enemy, with the root of our youngsters this morning, God. I ask you to bring about change right now, dear Father, dear God. Father God, go by every room shop this morning, God. Father God, turn up every spirit this morning that is not of you this morning, God. Father God, those who come in here, God, and for our youngsters this morning, God, I declare they're going to call them up forth for you this morning, God. Father God, that they rise this morning, God, and they hear your word, wherever they may be this morning, God. Father God, you will speak to their heart this morning, God. That they will put down their guns, that they will put down their knife this morning, dear Father God, and give their heart back onto you this morning, God.
shed this morning in this nation, this God. Father God, we want to claim the back for you this morning, God. Father, I touch the youngsters in the prison right now, dear God. Father, I give them a change of heart this morning, God. Work on their life this morning, God. That when they release back into society, dear God, they will bring about change among the other youngsters, dear God. Father God, they will change their life from crime this morning, God. And they will have a passion and a zeal for you this morning. The same passion they have for the devil, they will have for you this morning, God. I ask you to touch them this morning, God, in a mighty way this morning, God. Father God, touch everyone this morning who are going to lead a dirty position for this nation. Father God, I ask you this morning, God, that you will speak to them this morning. You will bring about change in their heart this morning, God. God, they cannot do it on themselves. They have to rely on you for help this morning, God. Father God, let them seek your face and not the witchcraft this morning, God. We rebuke every witchcraft spirit from this nation this morning. Too much witchcraft spirit in this nation. And our politicians are going to the witchcraft.
How many know that they can be church hurt? I don't, I'm not going to be long with this thing, but my God is deep with every other time. How many know they can be church hurt? And sometimes that's the worst type of hurt you can have. When you come into the house and you can't find love. We deal with something in here true the back. When we talk about, there were some folk that testify and never call no names. And they said, when they come to this house, they felt something. They felt the love. They felt the togetherness. They felt the bond. I'm not saying that something you don't got little issues yet. But let those that will come to the door. That means, Sister Fabric, your job is so important. That when they come to the door, there'll be that smile and that hug. Because we will go into churches across this nation and we will just go in and go out, Deacon. And nobody will notice us. But we are glad for such an assembly this morning that when people come into this house, that the people that are in place will notice them, will hug them, will embrace them, will let them know that God is still able to deliver, to heal, and to set free. I don't know how far, I don't know how the girl is this morning, burning all the muscle. Bridgefield. Folk don't leave from Silver Sands and St. John and St. Philip and come down here because they want to look cute. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sister Margaret, you know what I'm talking about? We come in here because we receive something when we come. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Jesus. We come, Pastor, because there's an embrace. Amen. We come because there's a love. Yes. And no wonder the apostle said, let us endeavor to keep the unity of the Spirit yes. in the bond of peace. Amen. That's what he said. Amen. Let me fight. Let me wrestle. Let me desire to keep the unity, to keep the love in the bond of peace. Because I see him love will cover a multitude of sin. Hallelujah, Jesus. Will the devil have you bound up for the whole week and somebody just wrap the arms around your sister and love you? Break every chain. There's something about love that break every shackle, that break every chain. Hallelujah, Jesus. And, and, and what was happening in the text is that Eli warned his sons. But it seems like his sons had no respect for the warning of his father. Because you would have thought that if Eli had warned his sons and tell his son, don't do so, this is not the right way, this is not the right way to do. I'm here of the conversations, I'm here of your name with the women, I'm here. You eat the biggest part of the feast and the sacrifice. I am near these things of my sons. It is not right and it should not be so. But they refuse to hear. They refuse to listen. And as a result, as Eli was getting old, over now the Bible says that the light became dim. His eyes was dim, and the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord. Can you imagine? The place that's supposed to be locked. The place that's supposed people need to come and find refuge. Need to come and find strength. Need to come and find health. Need to come and find healing. The place that the people would come. The place that was resonate, Sister Deborah. The place that was ordained. The place, hallelujah, Jesus, that was care of altar. That the people could come for answers. They could come for hope. They could come for healing. They could come for deliverance. They could come for rescue. They could come for a word. They could, I don't know if you're 
hear what I'm saying. The place uh, that people can come, we are like to be shown. The light was dim. And God out. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And anytime the light goes out, what will the people do? Where the Spirit of the Lord has gone, what will the people do? No matter how much a hero Samson was. When the Spirit of the Lord leads our son, he could do nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He could do nothing at all. No matter how mighty a king Saul was, when the Spirit of the Lord leads Saul, he could not do anything. Hallelujah. All he do is try to make havoc of David and havoc of the children of Israel. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because the light, Sister Cox, has gone out. Woe would it be us if the light go out in our lives? We supposed to be the light of the world. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We supposed to be the light of the world. And woe be unto us if the light go out in our lives. Do you hear what I'm saying? The light was out. And when the light is out, whenever you come into your house, the first thing you do at night, turn on the light. And the reason for that, so you can see where you're going. Oh God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. So you can see where you are going. But can you imagine the light is out? Then you'll be like blind men in gross darkness trying to feel your way around. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I hear God saying to us, Pastor, we don't want the light to go out in this house. Hallelujah, Jesus. But we want the light to burn brighter and brighter and brighter in this house. Hallelujah, Jesus. When the light go out in a nation, when the light go out in a community, when the light go out in a church, when the light go out in a life, it is gross darkness. Hallelujah, Jesus. I don't know if you hear what I'm saying, but if you go into your house at night, switch off all the lights, and immediately it is darkness. Immediately. And the house, the light went out. The light that would give the people purpose and direction. That when the enemy come, they know what to do. Because light don't only give heat, it gives direction. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. So when the enemy, when the Philistines comes, the people know what to do. They know how to deal. Because they have a God that is speaking. But at this time, God is not speaking. At this time, there's no open vision. At this time, the light of God is gone out in the temple and people of Israel, fear is stepping in, sister. Darkness is stepping in, sister. People are doing as they're pleased. They're doing as they like. The children of God, the people that represent God is doing as they like. And when we begin to do as we like, then the enemy can come in and they have all of us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And that's why he lifts up as a church. The representative of that light. The representative of Christ. He said if he be lifted up. He 
he would draw on men. And that's the reason why it is important, church, that we endeavor to keep that light. Don't let the light go out. If the enemy plan to rob, steal, kill, and destroy, he wants to tear the light out. He don't mind you coming to church. Just go to the, it will be a man on Saturday night. He don't mind you coming to the service. Just go and do what you feel like doing on a Sunday morning or on a Sunday evening or on a Saturday night or Friday night and then come church. He don't mind you coming to church because he know if he can get you, he will get you sit down by somebody or get in close proximity to somebody to make them feel miserable too or want them to do the same thing that you're doing. So his plan is to out your life and for you to come back to church to out somebody else's life. I don't know who I'm talking but he don't care if you come. You can come to church a hundred times. His plan is once he got you in his grip. Because he has already up your life. And the plan is for you to get close enough to somebody else so you can up there like too. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. And the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. When I look into the papers, and I'm not wrong with this thing, but I feel it. When I look into the papers, hallelujah, and I see all of them power readers, it tells me something. It tells me that they're making money. The, the, the problem that I got with them is, is that they talk about they can heal, they can fix relationships, they can get money, you can get your markets and your problems sits and this. But my problem, my question to them is, if they can get all of this money, why they want my money for? I don't know if you what I'm saying. You, you, you see what I'm talking about. Now if they can get all of this money, 100% this and 100% this, I don't know what they want my money for. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me come to the house of God. Let me put an offering in the house of God. Let me do what God says in this house. And let God bless me for the Jesus and a father of life and God before the devil is alive creeping around on every son my God and you know what's happening we come to church I'm not beating on you but I'm just talking to you we come to church and sometimes we pray once and it don't happen we pray again and it don't happen believe God and it don't happen and then we say, you know something? Let me go to the old man. Oh, Let me go to the power readers. And we have a lot of these things going on in the church. So when the no spirit of God is not moving since the city, when things are not happening the way they should, where people are with love antagonism and frustration. It is because of four decide that they want to turn from the living God to serve idols. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some folks say that God taking too long. That God ain't coming true for me. That this man that I got ain't changing. Or this woman I got she ain't changing. I talk and talk to the Lord all the time. Now I can make a switch. And I can go down here early in the morning, six o'clock rush. And if it's you and me, you if it's you. So I don't even know where you get out from, so you must be giving me. <laughs> you see, I'm not about to drop you because <laughs> but early in the morning, you can't down there. Because you want a little help. And you feel these fellas gonna help you. But let me tell you something. They may gonna help you. They can put you into more bondage. So when you think that you getting it good to get on working to you, they can put you into more bondage and more bondage. You can find yourself getting angry. You can find yourself wanting to do all kind of things that God will not expect you to do. Simply cause that spirit. You open up yourself to that spirit. 
And then you come to church once and the world let me hear you. And then you become angry. And then you become filthy. Are you here? But I don't know who I'm talking to. My God. But I hear God said, don't touch it. Stay away from it. I am the Lord thy God. I know when, I know where, and I know how. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I can do it anytime and every time. I am the Lord thy God, and besides me, there is none other. I rule him in the heavens, I rule him in the earth, I rule under the earth, and I rule in the hearts of men. I raise up fear to show him my power. I raise up David to a king. I don't know you hear what I'm saying. I am your shutter. I can raise up, I can pull down, I can push to the left, or I can push to the right. I am the Lord thy God. I rhyme upon the clouds. Hallelujah, Jesus. The cattle on the hills are mine. Oh, <laughs> 